Hey everyone, Tyler here. In this video, I want to talk about the Tilta Nucleus Nano 2. Now, this is by no means a new product. It has been out on the market for quite a while. I got this back in, I want to say late July, August, somewhere around that time frame. So that said, this is going to be kind of my, my long-term user experience review of the Nano 2. This is not gonna be a detailed how-to video or setup or or anything like that. So if, if that's what you're looking for, this isn't that kind of video. This is purely just my thoughts on, on using this, kind of what stood out to me over the last six or eight months or however long that I've had this unit. Okay, let's start off with the things that I really like about it. And the first thing is just ease of use. Now, my perspective and use cases for these types of products is turn it on, connect, calibrate, and go. And if it's too complicated, takes too much time, or there's just too much friction in the process, then I put it back in its box, either send it back, or it just sits on the counter and never sees the light of day again. The good news is this thing is super intuitive to use. And I this is just like probably the, the biggest thing that stood out to me initially was, okay, great. This thing's not only priced really good and you get a lot for, for what you purchase, but it's easy to use and it's really convenient. And it removes a lot of the friction points that I found with the original Nucleus Nano system. Everything from navigating the menus to connecting to motors and, and calibrating and all that stuff is really quick and easy to use and really intuitive and just navigating through the menu systems and everything just felt like I've used the product for a long time and that's something that I really appreciate and in my experience this thing has just worked and has been really easy to use. For example with ease of use one thing that really is just so easy to do is to calibrate the, the motors so all you do is just click this button right here, hold it down for a couple seconds, and it will automatically start to find infinity focus and minimum focus. That's of course, if you are on a cine lens or a stills lens that has hard stops, and that's just really helpful for doing lens swaps, you know, on set or out in the field or whatever, you can just calibrate it really quickly and then kind of be on your merry way, which is really nice. Now you can also calibrate stills lenses that don't have hard stops at the, you know, at, at infinity focus and minimum focus. Uh, it takes a little bit more time to do those lenses, but it is still really easy to do. So it is something that I do really appreciate about the, the Nano 2. All right, next up is USB-C. This is such a massive improvement over the original Nucleus Nano system. I am so glad that we don't have to deal with the micro USB anymore. USB Type-C is so much better. I mean, even like I had to get this cable right here. This is the DTAP to micro USB cable to power the original Nucleus Nano motor to you know get more torque and stuff out of it. And if I misplaced this cable or forgot it or whatever, I was pretty much out of luck and just couldn't even use a wireless system because that cable is not something that you can go to any local electronic store and pick up. On the other hand, USB Type-C, if you misplace your USB Type-C cable, you probably already have another one in your bag somewhere. Somebody might have one on set. And if not, you can run over to any store and get a USB Type-C cable. And then on the hand unit, you also have USB Type-C and that is to charge the unit as well, which is awesome. It's got an internal battery, which is a huge improvement in my opinion. I know a lot of people feel some type of way about internal batteries, but I much prefer it that way because it's just one less thing that I have to worry about bringing a charger for it and like, these batteries right here, the ones that come with the, the Nano 2, these are like pretty specific batteries and they're not easy to come by. What I mean by that is you're not gonna run up to like CVS or a, you know your local gas station or whatever and find these batteries. With the Nano 2, you don't have to worry about that. It's built in and I've seen no signs of it wearing down or, or decreasing in battery life. It get like probably seven or eight hours pretty much a full production day if you remember to power it down at lunch especially of battery life which is is great i mean that's pretty much all you can ask for now one thing i was really surprised at was the amount of torque that you got from these newer motors they're claiming they're five times stronger than the original nucleus motor and or the nucleus nano motor and this right out of the box just with the usb type c cable i've run it with Atlas Orions, Mercury's, the Lau Proteus, Nanomorphs, Tokina Vistas, like pretty big lenses, except for the Nanomorphs aren't that big. 
And this motor has had absolutely zero issues working with those bigger lenses. So definitely a huge and welcome improvement over the original nano motors. All right, next up has to do with mounting. And this is just another massive improvement over the original nano. First of all, on the hand unit, you have a built-in NATO rail clamp here. NATO rails are everywhere. That's, that's pretty much the most common you know, side rail now and top rail and stuff for camera cages and stuff. And that just means that it's so much easier for me to swap this between different camera systems. Say I'm running Komodo X one day and I'm pulling focus on that. Maybe I'm hopping over to an FX3 or C70 or whatever the case may be. Usually all those cameras have a cage on it and it's pretty easy to just pop this on the NATO rail on the side and have this mounted to the side of the camera. All right, the last thing I'll mention is about the Nano 2 is, is something that I love and it'll be the first thing that uh, is, is not so good. And that has to do with the touchscreen and menus. Now, it is really cool that you can navigate through your menus and all that stuff with this touchscreen. And the menu system is pretty intuitive and pretty easy to navigate. Um, so it's really cool that you have that. But that's going to lead me into the first thing that I don't like about it. And while the touchscreen is awesome, I find myself... When the camera, when this is mounted to the camera, I always find myself bumping or sliding, or well, of course I'm not even doing it right now, but I'll bump the menu or something up and, and bring this up. And when you're in like the menu system, you lose functionality, you lose control of the motor. So I always find myself having to swipe and all that to get out of the menu system, which is super annoying. Now, there is a little lock icon down at the bottom left hand corner and when it's locked then you can't actually touch the screen so it is cool that they have that in there however i just wish that there was a way to have like an automatic locking function maybe like if there's inactivity on the screen after five seconds or 10 or a predetermined amount of time it'll just automatically lock and if there is that functionality then let me know in the comments and you can completely disregard this whole section of what i don't like because that's pretty much my my biggest my biggest complaint with this unit i think this is a huge improvement over the original nano unit and if you are considering upgrading then i, I have zero hesitation recommending it as long as you have the budget and speaking of budget at 299 dollars us for kind of the base kit getting in you know, the motor and the the hand wheel i think that's a pretty awesome value because this this is how i run it pretty much all the time i don't have any of the other handles or anything like that i just have the focus wheel and the motor and that's pretty much it and i've been really really happy with the setup so it's a really good bargain for how powerful this system is so if you are in the market then um definitely give this a serious look i'll leave links down in the description below there are affiliate links that didn't cost you anything else but helps this channel out and uh helps me make more content like this well i've rambled on far too long thank you so much for watching and if you have this unit let me know in the comments what your favorite thing is about the nano 2 appreciate you watching and i hope to see you in the next video peace